I'm Rabbi Rachel Gurevitz from Congregation B'nai Shalom in Westboro, Massachusetts. What is it that we need this month of Elul? Sometimes it can be as simple as pausing for one minute to simply stop and breathe, to meditate on the feelings that arise to notice what it is we've been given, to think about what we need to heal. To offer a wish, a prayer. I invite you to sit with me, either with eyes closed or taking in the beautiful woods behind me, for just one minute, a pause in the day. Shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom. I wish you a blessed day. One of my favorite traditions that begins the first day of Elul and continues all the way through Sukkot is reciting Psalm 27 each morning. I think this psalm is meaningful because it's designed to give us a place to start with our daily introspection and soul searching during this time. So it says, And this means, one thing I ask of the holy presence in the universe. It's this phrase I'm drawn to, one thing I ask of the holy presence in the universe. It's a beginning point, a simple question to start us on our path. Imagine if we really had the opportunity to ask for something and that thing would be given to us. It could be anything. There are no limits on what we could ask for. What would it be? A person we want by our side, good health, fortune, a job, the support of loved ones, intelligence. When we think about this past year, it's hard to find clarity and focus in on one thing in particular. And that's why we need to say this line every morning. It helps us figure out what we really want, what we are honestly looking for deep in our kishkas. And in answering this question, in searching for who we are and what we are seeking, we are beginning the difficult and holy process of becoming a better version of ourselves. We become more grateful, more appreciative, and more introspective when we spend a few minutes each morning thinking about what we need the most to become even better in the year 5781.